you know, I'm a mixed martial artist, and uh, you know, just because I have a high level grappling game and a ground game and, and can submit people, uh, doesn't mean that I don't have other parts of my game. Um, that's just where you know I'm most successful. Um, and I, I knew Eddie was going to be hyper aware of that. I got a takedown right away in the beginning of the round, and uh, I feel, felt like that really kind of set the pace. He was so worried about my grappling, it allowed me to use my wrestling to make my striking uh, shine. And uh, as soon as if he lacked on uh, my striking, I was going to take him down. So that's what mixed martial arts is being about: is uh, you know using your striking to make your wrestling effective, and using your wrestling to make your striking effective. And uh, I feel like I'm, you know, that's something I'm really good at. And, I you know, was pumped that I got to show a little bit a little bit more of a skill set tonight. Were you conscious in the first round? You got that early takedown, he gets back up, you threw a couple shots and went down on one, he got under hooks and pulled you back up. Those were really the two takedowns you went for, but after that, when so you abandoned it, but really it kind of it seemed like a click that you understood you were getting to him with your striking, went to it more often. Was there a moment where you realized I'm faking him up with the wrestling and actually landing strikes, or were you just trying to kind of switch it up each time and it just happened to result in success repeatedly? Um, Kind of a little bit of both. Um, you know, I knew I was landing a lot of striking, and I knew I needed to keep him honest with the with the takedown. So I kind of shoot half shots to get him to drop his hands and then dig some uppercuts. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but if, if he got lackadaisical and he planted his feet, I was gonna I was gonna shoot a hard shot and wrestle him. But he was doing a really really good job of having great lateral movement and cutting angles, and he didn't really let me get off a solid shot. You know what I mean? I was trying to taunt him a little bit because he was running so much. I'm like, plant your feet, let's let's brawl. And you know, if I could have got him a little bit more uh, solid ground, I would have took him down. But uh, you know, I, the way he was moving, I had to fight the way I did, you know, and uh, luckily, and uh, I came out with the win. You know, first of all, I want to say uh, Coach Jimmy Gifford uh, was my, one of my striking coaches this whole camp. He's been working with Misha for a while, and, uh, you know, I haven't really worked on my striking probably for six or seven years, other than MMA sparring, where I can mix in my wrestling. Uh, I didn't really believe in just striking unless you could wrestle, and, uh, you know, I, I saw what Jimmy Gifford was doing with Misha things he was doing that you know I really believed in that it wasn't just a cookie cutter striking and uh, you know I, I took a step forward and, and I worked with him a lot this camp uh, also you know coach falls is I, somebody I really look up to I've known him for a long time since I was a teenager back when he uh, used to run team quest uh, 12 years ago and uh, so that guy was uh, you know always a, a phenomenal coach to me and and really for me that's why I moved to Las Vegas is because specifically of because of coach Robert Falls and uh, his mental game and his coaching ability and uh, yeah during the corner you know uh, different fighters like different things I, I feel like Mish and I are completely different in that aspect uh, I'm a very technical fighter I like his size uh, you know technical things other fighters are too focused they can't really hear they like you got to get in his face you got to push the pace you know they like more uh, base level stuff but uh that's why i like false is because he can break something down you know a lot of fighters the last question of the coach like we'll just do it on the coach that doesn't fly with me i need somebody who's you know intelligent and can break down why i'm doing something if i understand i'll believe in it i won't ever do anything that i don't understand why